So welcome to Midweek Experiments in Faithfulness. This is a weekly facilitated spiritual practice with a Quaker flavor and an experimental ethos. So my name is Jen Higgins Newman, and I'm the program manager here at Beacon Hill Friends House, live from my bedroom here, because I live and work here. Um, Beacon Hill Friends House is a Quaker center for learning and action and a residential community of about 20 people who live according to Quaker values. And tonight we have my dear friend, Greg Woods, with the practice connecting with God through fiber arts. So when the pandemic started, Greg picked up knitting again to get through Zoom meetings. It is through this medium that Greg rediscovered a way to settle into worship amid his own fidgety self. So Greg requests that tonight you have your own fiber art, or if you don't have one, to bring something that you can do with your hands in a meditative practice. So together tonight, we'll reflect on fiber arts and the practice of centering into worship. So now I'm excited to introduce you to Greg. So Greg Woods first learned how to knit as a teenager to make a scarf for a crush. Since that time, he has made scarves, hats, and dishcloths for family and friends. Lately, he has been knitting baby blankets and stuff for his four and a half year old daughter, Margaret Ray. Greg is a Quaker minister, currently working for friends meeting at Cambridge and lives with his family in the Alston neighborhood of Boston. So again, welcome. We're happy that you've joined us. And Greg, it is all yours. Hi, everyone. Uh, so my, uh, my internet connection is going in and out. Um, but um, yeah, I just... Um, Thank you um, to Emily for the, uh, for the prompting to do this um, event. Um, I, uh, Emily, I noticed that I knit during most of these. Um, um, so, um, yeah, and I think there is something um uh one of the uh only ones um uh, only midweek was about uh, was having a actor uh talk about how um they uh, come to meeting for worship with their whole selves and how it can be difficult to sit still. And I feel like um, knitting is a way for me to still myself, um, but it can be taboo in meeting for workshop. So that is what I want to do tonight is to explore using our hands while uh while waiting uh in a workshop for manner and then reflect on that experience. I think as I said, I am a visually person, so knitting allows me to be busy with still my still my inner uh still my voice, my like internal dialogue, um and. If you, um, and I will use God, uh, because that is the language I like to use, but please feel free to translate it and do whatever language is appropriate for you, um, whether that is spirit or light or, um, uh the one uh so um there is a lot of so 
I will talk about God, but please uh, hear it in whatever language is comfortable for you. Um, so yeah, I think um, being, I think it's so hard to um, settle the inner voice in a life where we are constantly bombarded by scary life than our Quakers, um, than only Quakers. And I think uh, for me, I am interested in uh, this being one where every exploring how bodies can more relate to how we worship. So, um, so in this activity, we are using our hands as a way to sit down into a place where we can be, uh, where we can get to a place to wait upon God, but upon the light. So I think that what the essence of Quaker worship is to me is how do we get to that place and not and not about how do we keep silent and still and make no motion I think and I think that a way we Quakers kind of lose the focus of our parts uh, these days. So I think in meeting for worship, and, and I felt this way with um, the practice that you mentioned with Epchez, in that I, I tend to focus in my head, you know, I'm thinking like, how do I connect my thoughts to the divine in some way or connect to a spirit? And I forget to drop into my body or that I'm a whole person in this way. And I'm doing embroidery, um, which I just picked up and I'm focusing like just the, the motion of moving my hands as I'm thinking helps me to settle my body in, in different ways and helps me to tap into um, a different mode of being in relation to waiting um, and waiting, waiting for God or the inner teacher. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, and uh, at the end, we will have time to share what we are working on because yeah. I beat the work in fiber arts that is a big thing. <laughs> <laughs>